Hey, God bless you today. I want to share a word the Lord gave me. Um, usually the Lord speaks to me through dreams, visions, um, sometimes signs in the natural. Those are usually the ways that he speaks to me. Um, and I know he speaks to all of us in different ways, especially with how he's gifted or created us. But those are the ways he usually speaks to me. So this was more of an unusual, um, this doesn't happen to me very often. But I was actually on a plane flying to go visit some family and I was just sitting there um, and this the, the Holy Spirit just came upon me, not necessarily in a tangible way, but almost like with a word that just pressed, like he just pressed these words out. And so it was a very, um, his words just hitting me and I just grabbed a pen and started writing them down. So um, I'm going to share the word. I pray that you would test the word. Um, if you carry the spirit of God, it will test that it would testify and that you would take it and test it for yourself. Um, and I'm going to talk about what the Lord, what I believe the Lord is saying through it. But first I want to share the word. And this was on June 11th, 2022. Um, and this is what I heard the Lord say, the divided States of America. Look, look, look up and see, I am about to call you a divided States of America. The land will be torn asunder, the earth will quake, the mountains shake. Be not afraid, my people, my pure-hearted ones. You have not shaken hands nor made a deal with the corrupted ones in this land. You have kept your course true, your eyes like flint. Though the beating waves have tossed you to and fro, I look down from heaven upon this earth and see my faithful ones. A faithful bride, though she be scattered abroad throughout the land, she is of one mind, one focus, one heart. She is mine, undivided in her heart. She does not serve many gods nor listen to many voices. Her heart is pure and she deals money she deals money fairly. She desires truth in the inward parts. Brace and prepare for a divided state. Hold fast and do not buckle when the raging crowds surface. They rise up to fight my purpose and put out my flame, but I will have my way in this nation, for she is dedicated to me at birth. Though the word tarries, wait for it and believe, for I am a God of my word. And then I heard brother against brother, a sword in the home. And that was the word I heard. And so um, some of the things that stand out to me as I take, took this word um, after I wrote it out, what I heard him saying is um, there's kind of a contrast that the, that the United States is about to become divided. And, pro and what I felt was it's a more of a literal dividing than just a spiritual division. Um, and I know I shared a word back last year about um, the vision the Lord gave me of the of the flag for America um, with the 13 original colonies and that states would actually rise up and um, these states would join together to come against the tyranny of uh, what the pseudo administration is doing right now and that they would act that states would rise up and it, it was um, felt more literal than just a spiritual rising. Um, and we've seen some of that with certain states, but I believe that the, this was more of a heavy, we are going to be in the days ahead living in a divided states of America and that there will be actual physical divisions by the states. Uh, and that's what I felt that the Lord was saying, but surely take that to the Lord and see if it um, test it for yourself. Um, and that there will be signs in the earth by this word, I take it that there will be signs in the earth of shaking and actual um, physical manifestations in the earth of this division. And I, I don't know what that means, but um, it just said the earth will quake, the mountains shake, and the land will be torn asunder. So take that to the Lord. But I believe there will be a physical manifestation in the earth. Just like the scripture says, the earth groans for the sons and daughters of God to be revealed. Um, and then it talks about, the Lord's talking about those who have kept themselves pure and not shaken hands with the world and their ideas and their ideologies and their agendas and also been faithful and pure when no one's watching with how 
how you've dealt with your money, how you've dealt with your sexuality, how you've dealt as a father or a mother um, with your anger or whatever it is, uh, those things, that purity is what the Lord is looking for. And if, if, that, if you're saying, I have messed up, the Lord is giving this word, I believe now, to say you have time to come into that and to come into repent and to come into the love of the Father and agreement with the purity of, of the word of God and his ways. But he's saying that those, his faithful ones, those she be scattered abroad and uh, scattered across the nations right now, and though she will be tossed in the storm as well, um, that she, he will protect her because we are his. And so, um, and a big part that stands out to me is that she is not listening to many voices. She is, she is desiring the truth no matter the cost. And she is, all, she is an undivided in her heart. And that's the contrast. We see a divided states of America is coming because the, and the true bride, the faithful bride of Christ that's being prepared in this hour is in contrast undivided in her heart so she will because of that there is coming a great division in the states there will be um uh like sheep states and goat states there will be a more clear division between that in the coming days but the bride of christ no matter what state she lives in uh because she's scattered across these states is going to be undivided in her heart and her mind and she's not going to be tossed to and fro by what she hears in the media what she sees around her she's going to be faithful to what she hears from the father um, and then it goes back to talking about the Lord says I will have my way in this nation for she is dedicated to me at birth and though the word tarries wait for it for I am a God of my word that is powerful and we need to stand on that because the word has tarried and many of us have grown weary um, and um, started to become more divided in our belief and our faith in the, in the Father and what he has spoken over the nation. But he, he tapped into the fact that this nation is dedicated to him since her birth and, and that he is going to honor that, though we're going to see the the raging and the opposition to the truth and the founding of the nation uh, by many in this hour there's going to be storms coming so do not lay down your guard but the lord is saying i will have my way in this nation i'm going to allow the storms to uh to cleanse the nation and judge the wicked who have been given time to repent but have not and I'm going to do that because I'm going to save and redeem and restore the nation because she was dedicated to me at birth. So it's it's um, it's not going to be easy. And I believe that the shaking, um, the the lashing out of the enemy is going to intensify uh, and the storms are going to hit hard. But that is going to be used by the father to purify the nation and bring her back to her original anointing and her original prospering. So hang in there. Um, I pray this word blesses you. And the Lord told me to share this verse and speak this verse over those of you who are the faithful ones. Or if you are not and you're listening to this and you say, I want to come into the kingdom and I want to be part of the faithful ones. Or I am a believer, but I have turned and started listening to the voices of the world and the media. And I want to come back and um, come into that undivided heart that you speak of. So I'm going to read this over those of you who are turning turning back or who have stayed faithful. This is out of Isaiah 43, and the Lord specifically gave me this verse after he gave me that word when I prayed about it. It says, But now thus says the Lord, He who created you, O Jacob, he who formed you, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed you. Hallelujah. I have called you by name, you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. And so, um, Father, I just bless my brothers and sisters and all those listening with this word that they, that, that we would know that we know that we belong to you, that this nation has been dedicated to you at birth and and though a divided states of america is going to come for a while 
we know and that the storms are coming and we will have to pass through the water. We will have to pass through the fire. We will know that we know that we will not be consumed and we will not be burned up or overtaken because we are your faithful ones. And we love you, Lord, and give you praise. And we stand upon your word with an undivided heart today in Jesus name. Amen.